vault that we're using is a gypsum plaster. It's produced by British Gypsum and it's known as multi finish. And it's designed to go on various backgrounds. We used to have what was known, well, you still get it apparently, I've not seen it for years, but we used to be able to get what they call carlite finish, which we'd have been using for doing this kind of work. Carlite finish was designed to go on to your, uh, your lightweight plasters and sand cement floats, etc. But it was great for over skipping too. And then there's your board finish. Um, now your board finish you can still get, that's, that's not a problem. And that's really only best for putting on boards. You can use it for over skimming, but I prefer the multi for over skimming. I find it makes for a, a slightly better job. Whereas if, if I went on to board, I prefer the board finish. What is designed for, pretty much. And all those, uh, those products are all, all made and supplied by British Gypsy. In lime putty, the vein of fine sand, the very fine white sand, almost almost like a powder. We add it 50 50 to the lime putties, and that's our finish. Um, we, we just knock it up with the uh, the paddle mixer, as you've just seen us do with the, uh, the multi finish there. Your backing coat, or your float coat, your scratch coat, or in the case of lime, your cracking coat, which is your scratch coat, um, we'll use a, a quick lime. Mixed in with an aggregate, and the aggregate depends on the job, so we'll, we'll not really go into too much detail with that. So, what age would these properties be that we're working on? Well. I think these were put up in the, the sort of mid-1960s uh, as council house dwellings. And um, <clears throat> it's a combination of plasterboard on the ceiling, but it'll be a, a lime and gypsum plaster that they've uh, used for the finish. I mean, in the UK, we call it plasterboard over the waters there in the, the good old US of A. I do believe you call it, uh, is it rockboard? Please uh, feel free to correct me in the comments there if, uh, if I've got the wrong terminology. I know over there in America you, you do have different techniques for putting up your buildings, etc. A lot of them are just timber, or oh, they're a brick, brick box or timber framing on the inside, and no, no county wall as such, done in brick or block. A very different way from, from the UK. <coughs> now I've learned other bits of trades, for example, the, the brickwork that I, I restore and the Stonework that I, I restore, and I'm still learning. You know, I'm still learning every day. Not so much on the the plastering these days. Um, I mean, the only learning I do with the plastering is if a new product comes out, and uh, I need to to learn what <coughs> backgrounds it can go on, and what its setting times are, and how it needs to be trialled, and that sort of thing. But that's uh, it's all part and part of life, isn't it, really? <coughs> Excuse me, a bit, uh, bit foggy in the throat this morning. I need a cup of tea. Yeah, I've got one there ready. A little class cup. So what we do, we put on either a, a PVA, which is a, what was it? I can't remember what it stands for now. Um, somebody in the comments, please let me know. Uh, so you could use PVA or you could use something like a, a grit, uh, which is like a blue grit, a green grit, um, which is purely designed for, for this type of thing. Um, I personally prefer the PVA. Nothing against the grits. 
It's just not like I prefer the piggy bank. I mean, sometimes I will use the grip. For example, if it's a big Artex or something like that, I'll put the grids on it. But uh, just bog standard and whiskey in. A bit of pee water will suffice. Right, we're over the halfway mark. In fact, we're probably three quarters. We may have to mix some more. Probably going to need another, another couple of uh, handball spawns or hawks, as the, uh, the true terminology is. So I'll have to, I'll have to mix up a bit more um, just to finish the first coat. I mean, that's where a small boy comes in handy because. You know, you can basically say, boy, do another small mix. But we don't, uh, we don't have any small boys on. We want too much money these days for doing very little. Now you see, this stuff is still lovely and, uh, lovely and flexible and, and wet. Yeah, because we've got that extra time in it, which is making my life a lot easier. Because it is stiffened, what stiffened, stiffened, stiffened. Yeah, it's warm in here. It's very warm. You're a, a fan of all things DIY and you like to have a, a bit of a go yourself. Just a, a little word of warning with plastering. It looks a damn sight easier than what it actually is. You know, there's a lot more to it than just chucking a bit of paint stuff on a wall or a ceiling. Right, so pretty much on there now. So we'll cut you off for a little bit. I'll crack on and then we'll come back to you in a bit more. Well, it is so hot in here, it's unbelievable. Right, the ceiling is now uh, first, second coat and laid in. All we've got to do now is uh, give it a trowel up. Would you like to have a look at the ceiling? Like I say, I've still got to trowel it up yet, yeah, but uh, it's having two minutes right, to try it's and now time up. to start the, uh, the old troweling up. Cooled off slightly, but not a lot. I would have to get home, finished, and have a shower. Okay, so that's the ceiling now, uh, all troweled up. Right, so wall number one, the biggie. I've got to make sure that one's done today. Um, well, I'd like to get it all done today, but I want to put this radiator back on tonight, so I've got to get that one there. Skimmed up next. It's still got to have a, a bit of a, a bounce or as some new chaps call it a polish I just want to show you this now this is one for you uh, you professionals out there he's had uh, he's had a, a guy in who's um, yeah says he's a plasterer Are you ready for this I 
I suppose you're of the same opinion as I am. And that is a poor job. I mean, mine's not, uh, not completely finished yet, but you know, like a, a massive difference between the two there. Anyway, this is what happens, you see. They go on these uh, six week wonder courses and they come out and they go, I'm a plasterer, and they're not. They're not a plasterer. They can't do it. Right, let's do this wall. Better grab the old uh, property up. <laughs> Plenty of gear left in the tub, so we're going to put either side of the chimney breast on now. Okay, right, so. Maybe some of you younger chaps, perhaps, don't know what that is. Well, it's known as a speed skin or a spat, spatula. And for the guys who have retired and uh, never come across one, watch this. Flatting off now, this is only the first coat, and we're going to flatten off. So we'll put the spat up there in the corner, push her in nice and tight. Bit of an angle like it's a trowel, a little bit of pressure on it. And bring it off. And there you go, that's the whole of that meter section from ceiling to the floor flattened in seconds. Hence the name speed skin. Drop down and then the bottom half. Bring her off, put it back on. We're taking it on and off there because we've got a radiator bracket. So again, we can come back now the other way, to the other corner. And that's uh, that's looking good now. Skirting board, yeah, onto the skirting and roll up again. Nice. And that's it, that's all there again, flat. Now it's taken minutes, minutes to flatten everything off. So this is your, your answer to speeding the job up. Now once I put the second coat on, again I can use the speed skim to flatten it and make sure that it's, it's lovely and straight. And then once we've done that, it's just kind of laying in and trowel it up. Thank you. 
one up to be too bad, it's uh, it's only 10 to 2. Although it was later, um, it seems to be going darkish. But saying that, it'll go dark till about 9 o'clock, does it? So that's a bit daft. Anyway, that's uh, quite a bit on, quite a big gauge that. So I've just got to give that uh, chimney breast and these uh, window reveals a minute just to pull in a bit and then I can flatten them off with the speed skim and then we can start thinking about second coating. Flexi time. Everything's uh, everything's second coated now, and it's just a case of it's like to trowel, which is good. And then we've got uh, another another gauge to do, and that will be this one on and done. So not bad, right? Right, well we're not far off now on this job. Um, just a few bits to do. Like that there, and then that bit behind me there. Um, I'm going to get the two bits that are in front of me now. And probably come back in the morning and do this, uh, this window wall. It's getting... Getting late now, well say late, you know, four o'clock. Um, I've just just knocked up some gear. So that'll take me to probably till about half five to actually finish it. Um, once it's, you know, set and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think I'll get this other wall on today. Um, it's a bit of push, I don't want to admit. I mean, this, this is like four bags I've put on today, which is a fair old bit. You know, I've not been slacking. Not even had any lunch, I've had nothing to eat since last night. Bloody starving. And all I've had to drink is water. Because I've not had time to go and get my kettle and set it up. Okay, well that do ya. That one's now fully completed. All we've got to do now is just that wall there, well, that's going to be first thing in the morning because it's now quarter to six and I am buggered. It's been a long day. There you go. I've still got to trowel up that bit in the corner there and that little bit around the door there. Apart from that, Pretty much done in here. So, hope you enjoyed this week's little tete a tete with a set of plastering trowels and um, a few bags of the paint stuff. Well, four and a bit to be precise. But um, yeah, so uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget that very important likes hit the like button so so important that like button i can't stress it enough also if you've watched this video and you thought hmm quite like that well then maybe you should subscribe to the channel and become part of the gang we're nearly a thousand we want 40 odd now 
just 40 odd subscribers and we're hitting that thousand mark which is like a a milestone isn't it be nice to uh, to get that before the summer hits properly so like i say if you have enjoyed it and you've not subscribed yet feel free to do so it's no charge there's no annual fees we don't need credit cards or anything like that all you do is just hit the subscribe button and you'll subscribe it's simple you don't even need your name right we'll leave you there and uh we shall catch you in the next video of buggering about with old buildings.